Hello everyone, this is Jeff of Tau Flader Mouse, and today we're going to be shooting Ooblek bullets. And of course, Ooblek is just cornstarch and water, and is a non-Newtonian fluid. And what makes this substance so unusual is that it's, it's considered a sheer thickening non-Newtonian fluid, meaning when you put it under stress, it actually becomes stiffer, it becomes like a solid. So when we filled a balloon with this, it definitely behaved completely different than water. In this experiment we shot a balloon full of oobleck with a gun and it acted exactly like a sheer thickening non-Newtonian fluid should act. So we thought okay let's fill a shotgun shell with this oobleck and shoot it and see what happens. In this situation, it didn't have the cohesive strength to stay together. In another experiment, we shot liquids in a capsule out of a shotgun. Now, liquids cannot compress, so the shock wave from the gun accelerated the water faster than the capsule could be accelerated, so it blew out. And we've seen the same exact thing in another experiment using a paintball. So if we put Ooblek inside a capsule, will it be able to withstand the shock wave? Our first experiment will use a capsule full of liquid red dye. Might have to put a sweater on here pretty soon. It's, it goes from hot to cold. Yeah, it's almost 70, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's so cool. And of course, this normal liquid behaves exactly like we thought it would, blowing out the capsule and creating a really cool looking red mist. Oh, we got ketchup. And it's pull, pull, pull it out. There you go. It's ketchup, which is a, a, a non Newtonian fluid too, but it's uh, sheer thinning. Under stress, it gets thinner. And it shouldn't work, just like the water didn't work. Okay, ketchup. Hit it. Smell like ketchup? It smells like burnt ketchup. It does. The ketchup under tremendous stress of being accelerated by a shotgun, of course, becomes thinner and acts like a normal Newtonian fluid. So how will a sheer thickening non-Newtonian fluid behave? <laughs> it survived. It went through the wood. Yeah. Terrible. At accuracy though. So it definitely worked and you can see a little mist like maybe the oobleck was leaking out and it could have been our little plug had fallen out when it, we shot it. But the capsule definitely remained whole and you can see even when it impacted it didn't splatter like a liquid would and it actually blew a hole right through that three quarter inch plywood or about 20 millimeter thick. So we'll try it again. We have another Ooblek round and we'll see if we have any different results this time. We'll see if the second one does as well as the first one. Right, ready? Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> it stayed solid and it hit low, I think. <laughs> so the second shot definitely proved that the capsule full of Ooblek will hold together, won't uh, be blown out by the shock wave from the shotgun. The biggest problem with these rounds is they're very lightweight and they don't fly very straight. But the Ooblek did behave exactly like it should have. I, I don't know, I guess I, I'm, we need a bigger jug next time. But I, I, if I was to guess it hit right here, we'll have to look at the ultra Super duper slow-mo, economy slow-mo. Economy. <laughs> 